Well, we are into another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It's Monday morning. Yay. Yeah. We are the Woody Show. It's, uh, let's see, March the 13th, uh-huh. 2023. And I'm going to get right into it. Everybody is here, and uh, we have a, an addition to the studio, and that would be the machine himself, Bert Kreischer. Who yeah. Is yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, ah, ah. God damn it, I love when you come in. <laughs> Razzle dazzle, baby. Yeah. <laughs> The energy. <laughs> I know. So, uh, real quick, tomorrow, his fifth stand-up special, Razzle Dazzle, Netflix. Wow. You'll be able to watch it. Uh, we've seen a lot on your social media. Mm-hmm. I know you're uh, you're amped up for that. And, of course, the movie, The Machine, which will be in uh, theaters on May the 26th. You are, like, it's crazy, man. You travel with an entourage now. Uh, very small. It's my uh, assistant. I, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. But then I see yeah. this whole thing between you and Joe Coy about oh, his side. entourage is thick. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> Filipinos do not use protection because he hires everyone yeah, yeah. in his family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Well, yeah, you got that. And then, Auntie like, Titi. Yeah, but like, yeah. oh, hey, Joe, check out my bus. And he's like, oh, check out my bus. And you're like, yeah. oh, I got oh, like 14. He, he like, got uh, that one. He got me on that one bad. 14 yeah. semis. So he goes, so, okay, so Joe and I, Joe and I had, a, uh, had a little competition about buses. Yeah. First, what happened is, uh, Tom and I both got buses, and then Tom bus sucked, and <laughs> and so I I destroyed him. But yeah. then Joe's like, "Yo, man, my bus is way better." And I was like, mm. "Put your money where your mouth is." So he does. So <laughs> he started doing these little things, right? Right. So then he just gets a brand new bus, brand new bus, and he's like, "Yo, I got it murdered out." Yeah. Now as I see that video, I'm oh. watching them load up my three semis and my two tour buses. Yeah. So I go <laughs> and I'm hammered, and I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, and I'm and I'm like, uh, I'm like, "Yo, Joe, this." Check out, I love your bus, really cool, but check out, oh wait, this is my bus, this is my cruise bus, this yep. is somebody that carries my lights, this is somebody <laughs> that carries my stage. Now, I know Joe has the same package. Yeah. I know it, yeah. I know it. But he killed me because he got me in drunk, slow guy voice with, with sad music. <laughs> hey, Joe, <laughs> check out my buses. Yeah. You know what I love about like you and Joe and you know Tom Segura, of course? I, it's just like this... You know, it's like you, you think as a, as a guy, you just think about like your friends and yeah. how you break each other's balls. And yeah. like, there's like all this love between all you guys. It's really cool. Oh, I just mm-hmm. posted about Joe right now. Everyone wears his damn sweatshirt in this yeah. studio. Oh, I'm yeah. bringing, I'm bringing 20 oh, hoodies <laughs> to spread out to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Sammy, Sammy doesn't own anything else. I know. Yeah. I live in his, his merch. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's got good merch. And, he's we, got good merch. and we were convinced yeah. for a while that maybe they hooked up at one point because like yes. she is either that or oh, like no, a mega I'm pretty Joe's gay. <laughs> <laughs> so your fifth Netflix special. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm done. I don't know if I can write any more material. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like, what am I supposed to write about now? My my daughters are really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, what was the story? There was like one joke, one of your daughters, that uh, you offered like $10,000. Yeah. We talked if, about if it. Yeah, let's tell, hear it. If you could tell the certain joke. No, I, I'm saying I missed kind of the backstory I on can't it. Even, I can't even tell the joke. Cause she, that's how I offered. I, it went up to a hundred thousand dollars. Did I, it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said wow. no. She said no. She said no. That's she, how she, spoiled her, these kids her exact are. Words, yeah. No, her exact words were. I want to be them. My, mm-hmm. She said, uh, "When you die, I get all your money." <laughs> oh. Well, she got. I don't know what I need play. it for now. You're yeah. paying for it anyway. Yeah. That's funny. no. It was uh, it was a joke in the in this story that we have, and uh, and I and she had said it to me, and I, it made me cry laughing. And I the night she said it to me at that after we went to this thing. I tried it on stage at the store and it bombed. It bombed really bad. Oh, mm. and uh, and I was like, oh, I guess I was a little aggressive. And then randomly, one oh, it's because it was road, like too personal. No, it's I can't, embarrassing. I can't even hint. Like just made her hint. angry. Yeah, yeah. Can't even hint. give us that. No, and so what she, emotion she, did it evoke? She really, yeah. she really was like, I don't want that in there. I don't wow. want people to know I said that. Yeah. I don't want. I don't uh, want to be associated uh, with that. All right, please stop. And I was like, I was like, hundred thousand dollars. She was like, nope. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. I would have well, taken that. Well, you gotta that. respect her for yeah, that. She's I, you know, yeah, principles. she's been a, she's been a, bit, a little bit of a baller. I did talk about her period on Conan, yeah. and mm-hmm. on my Netflix special, I talked about her getting her period, and she was cool about it. Yeah. And she's been she's been the like her and her sister are are have been very cool with it. And Leanne, man, I call Leanne a whore in this special. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, the, the, yeah. they're all they've all been so cool. And well, I go, she's got this her is own the thing one on. time she says she gives me pushback. I'll feel it. I'll respect it. Yeah, I'm gonna try try to buy it, but whatever. Yeah, but she's got her own thing going on. I suppose she got like a uh, wife of the party. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, 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 it's so dude, funny. She's a, she's a character on her own. Like I guess she got to be to be so married nice. to a guy like Bert Kreischer. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, she, she got to have a sense of humor. She one time was doing a podcast and she was telling vulnerable stuff about me, stuff yeah. I had said in mm-hmm. in privacy. Yeah, and she was sharing it, 
and I was livid. Oh. And then I was like, whoa, 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 wait. I do this all the time. Yeah. yeah. I do this. Yeah. I do this yeah. non stop. Yeah. And I went, oh my God, yeah. is this how it feels? Yeah. yeah. I was like, whoa, 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 I got to yeah. get checked with this. Wait, yeah. did you check yourself or did she? No, I checked it immediately because yeah, okay. I was like, whoa, what yeah. the? Well, Yulian, you don't tell everyone mm. everything. And then I was like, oh, that's what I do. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much my brand. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm, I'm guilty of the same stuff because mm. I get in here and I start talking and I'm not like personally, like uh, nobody hates me more than me. I've said that a thousand mm. times, right? So, like, nothing bothers me to share. I feel like I can't tell anything that's too embarrassing or too looks too bad. Yeah. You know, because it's all stuff, you know, I, I know, you know, what's going on Can here. Can I tell you where the money is? What if I started a YouTube channel in disguise about hating Burt Kreischer? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, pull, I, got, and I, I got ad sales for it. Yeah. Because I know, I know, if you don't like me, I can tell you exactly why you don't like me. Yeah, I know yeah. why I don't like me either. Uh, right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's just MC Hammer it. Because like, he used to sell shirts. I hate MC Hammer yeah. at his shows yeah. and then make both the money. Yeah. But it's not till after the fact and I get home and my wife's like, uh, so I heard the show today. And I'm like, oh boy. What did Ooh. I share? I'm not even, because by the time I leave here, I forget what I've already talked about. Yeah. So for me, there's really nothing. But that is actually a really good question for you. Uh, because you share so much stuff, and you are far from shy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, whether it's about uh, showing your ass or not a lot of nudity lately on mm -hmm. your uh, <laughs> on your social media, yeah. butt cracks and everything else. Uh, of course, the shirt off all the time. Speedos. Uh, mm -hmm. Speedos, nice. all that kind of stuff. Is there what is something that you ended up sharing, like in the course of your work or on on stage, that made you uncomfortable? As you were sharing it, like, ooh, because that's, you want to talk about that's the good stuff? Yeah. What wow. made you the most nervous to share? Like, I don't even know if I should share like, this. I don't like, I, the, I, I'm, this I'm, This makes me uncomfortable even to bring it up, like, it, it, genuinely. But, like, uh, I don't like, um, like, if I've had beef with a comic and, yeah. it's, mm -hmm. and, and it's ended poorly, I get really uncomfortable. But, by the way, that's the stuff that is clickbaity, you know, Burt Kreischer talks yeah. about dot, dot, dot. That's the way it would have, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, but that makes me, and it happened yesterday on a podcast. And he was saying, you know, whatever happened with the two of you guys, I'd love to talk that out. And you and you want to be open and honest, but you, I just feel like I'm always saying the wrong thing. And why would that person yeah. think that you'd want to talk it out with them? Uh, oh, my God. No, no, no. It was another <laughs> person who watched the drama go down. Oh, and he was like, man, okay. whatever happened with yeah. all that? And it's interesting. I was, I yeah. wanted to be like, you should call my therapist. My therapist could really give you a load. <laughs> yeah. I but, did see a clip recently. You were talking about letting go, not sharing what bothers you. Yeah. Because then you can move past that. Oh, like, really? Not publicly, yeah. Yeah. Because once you let people know what bothers you, then uh, they double like a down. target. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I've I've done I've like I used to I, I used to be upset about comments, mm -hmm. and this is really crazy. I, I used to read comments, like genuinely read comments mm -hmm. on Instagram, and then and for what purpose was it to be like reaffirming, or were you like uh, just looking for? Like legitimate feedback, because yeah, if you're going for legitimate feedback, you're not going to find it no. in the no. com in the no. comment section. You would, I would do it. I would do it for, I think, probably ego, just to be like, I put up a cool video. I hope people like it. Yeah. And then you'd read one negative comment, and it would destroy your day. Yeah. And then I, <laughs> w at one point, said, I can't believe I'm allowing a person that is not thinking about me at all anymore. They yeah. just left that comment like I threw a Molotov cocktail into a storefront. Yeah. And it burned all my goods. And they're, and they're on to the next storefront. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. don't care at all. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I was like, I can't believe I'm letting that happen. And I actually, yeah. I, I got off Twitter entirely. I'm, I'm not on Twitter. I have a social media team. This woman, Victoria, who runs all my stuff. She, she monitors all my comments. She yeah. does all that. I don't do any of it. And I have never felt better in my entire life. Oh, now, I believe that. Yeah. Now, having said that, I go to read I, I, there's beef between two, between two comics, New York and LA, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, ooh, what's this? And I go and, and I'm, and I think to myself, I should be safe in these comments, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. the first comment is, you know, Burt Kreischer's reading these comments. <laughs> <laughs> They read your mind. Well, I almost want to follow the guy and be like, hey, That's man, so funny. you should post for me. Yeah. Like, you know me better than me. <laughs> wow. You know me better yeah. than my wife. You know, it's it, wow. even crazy in the comments. Like, we have this uh, text program mm -hmm. that's up throughout the show. So as mm -hmm. the show is going on, people are live, you know, live time, real time yeah. texting yeah. in. Like, and you got to look at it because it's part of the interaction right with in the audience. Face. But, yeah. dude, you know, if if you're new, like I've seen a lot of people who join the show and they're new and everything. Oh, don't oh, look at woo. that. It ruins their day. Yeah, oh. you're keeping the mental health institutions mm -hmm. in the it's, in cra business. it's crazy that that's something that's in our, our lives and our children's lives because yeah. that wasn't in our lives. Yeah, and exactly. it's, it's a sense of, for me, it turns into OCD because yeah. I can't shut the thought process off in my head. Yeah. But I never had that as a kid. And I, I never people... had that. Now it's here. And my daughters probably both deal with it. Uh, my daughters, my daughters, uh, are aggressively uh, 
I mean, it, it's disgusting the people that slide in their DMs and try to get them to Riled send pictures up. of their yeah. feet. I mean, like, oh, wow. there was a guy that yeah. was, a, I mean, there was, we've had so many issues with it and that my daughters just do not, they have, they have Don't burner engage. accounts. They have yeah. burner account. Like, my daughter's burner account for TikTok showed up in my feed. Oh, now, really? I, hang on. I have a burner account. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a burner account so I can watch stuff and yeah. follow people I like. So what I like is pretty weird. And if yeah. you, and if you see what I like in my real TikTok, you'd be like, Huh? Mm -hmm. Like I'm really into uh, boats, like boat boat launch videos. Yo, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. boat that's launch a, videos. That's cross, a Florida thing. Uh, CrossFit chicks. Nice. Like, surfing <laughs> yeah. like thick CrossFit chicks. Yeah. I'm I'm like I just it gets me inspired to work out. Yeah, and then yeah. uh, Puerto Ricans getting their hair cut. I love that. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Oh, like the my, crazy designs and stuff like that. Yeah. Dude, when they come in looking like chupacabra, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they just yeah. clean them up, yeah. tighten yeah. them up. My yeah. God, Tight that gets cage. me going. <laughs> I, pimple popping videos. Yeah. Like if you oh, looked yeah. at my thing, you'd be like, "This guy's a lunatic." So I have a burner <laughs> account that is. I mean, I, I'm sure you can find it, but it's it's just my name. And then I have yeah. my real account that Victoria runs. Mm -hmm. Um, my I'm on my burner account and I'm flipping through, and all of a sudden I see my daughter Georgia. And I'm mm -hmm. and and she's like, eh, and then hits a vape pen, and I'm like, what uh, the? Oh, oh <laughs> no! So, get, so we're on the bus. So I'm on the mm -hmm. bus. I'm on the bus, and I go, all right. Now she's in college. I give my phone to my to someone. I go, can you check my daughter's burner account? Right. Tell me if there's anything I need to know. Worry about. <laughs> <laughs> and they're flipping through, and they're going, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. no, wow. And they're yeah. like, no, nah, I think it's all cool. No drugs. No, you're fine. Uh -huh. She's hitting a vape pen. So then she comes home for college, and I go, hey, you want to get a uh, love, Thanksgiving? We should get some vape pens. And she's like, huh? <laughs> and I buy all, I buy all every type of vape brand. Uh, every vape brand. <laughs> and I lay them out. And then I buy cigarettes. I go, we should smoke some cigarettes. She goes, what are you doing? And I go, I'm just saying, I, I think taking enough vaping is cool. Like, it's really cool to vape. Don't you yeah. think so? And she's like, well, who said something to you? Who said something to you? I go, your burner account got in my feed. Uh. And she was like, you have my burner account? And then I was like, yeah, I go, what's Isla's burner account? <laughs> ah, the algorithms are so good. Yeah. Dude, algorithms are so awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, they get you. Isn't it weird? Yeah. I know. It's, it's so like they know weird. You. I yeah. want an algorithm to play at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> like All your greatest you. hits. Yeah. 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 Well, we got the machine here. Burt Kreischer is here. His fifth stand up special is called Razzle Dazzle. It's on Netflix. That starts tomorrow. His movie, The Machine, in theaters, May 26th. I feel. Fantastic! You know, I'm I don't know how you feel. Fantastic! Oh, really? Oh, you are. Yeah. Is that, you know, because I, I watch like night in, night out. He's like, you know, you're partying, you're uh, out there, you're doing yeah. all kinds of stuff. Now I watch you in the uh, the saunas and the cold tubs mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff yeah. too. And I do see you working out. Which I work I, out like crazy. Which, I'm the strongest I've ever been. Before I got on do. testosterone, I bench two sixty five. Oh, so yeah. like, I'm the strongest I've ever been. But uh, but yeah, I just, I mean, well, I, if, if you also said you were afraid to lose weight though. No, everyone yeah. says that to me. If you lose weight, you'll you'll yeah. lose your act. And I'm like, yeah, I, not, I mean, not, uh, first of all, first of all, let's be very clear. I can still be morbidly obese at 220. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like I, guys, if you need me fat, I'm still yeah. morbidly obese. Yeah. I'm 261 right now. Uh -huh. That is way too fat. So when I when I watch uh, you know your Instagram and I see what you're doing on the tour and you're partying all the time, drink, I think, I just imagine like a constant state of being hungover. You know, and then Bert comes in. Mm. And we start getting this conversation. What were you saying? Like, we need to invest in... Um, Zins? Zins. Zins, yeah. Zins, man. These kids. Which is like the new... It's like instead of dipping, you know, d doing like a dip, like tobacco. It's a little mm -hmm. pouch. And, and little I'm pouch. telling you, man, I have yeah. seen more bros with Zins in their mouth. <laughs> but I, I found this uh, interesting, and I hope you don't mind me bringing this on the air from off the air, but you said that you would give up drinking. Yeah. The machine uh -huh. would give up How? drinking for tobacco. Oh, good. Yeah, wow. That's a toss-up, though. There's a lot of people. There's, As a matter of fact, I would say the majority of people that gave up alcohol uh -huh. traded mm -hmm. it for tobacco for a reason. I mean, you ever go yeah. to rehab or go to an AA yeah. meeting, they're all, you everyone's advice. smoking. Yeah. Sure. I uh, fantasize about that all the time. If smoking had no ramifications, oh, oh my God. I'd probably smoke 10 cartons a day. But like I, used I would to never not smoke. I used to smoke, and I, I don't know, like, so what, what, what was I not getting that made, like, because <laughs> yeah. to me it was more the social thing, like oh, going... Without everybody at the radio station, like would smoke, right? and so it was a social thing. Everybody gathered outside, and we'd smoke and stuff like that. Like, what, what, what part did I not get? The treat, the treat, yeah. the treat, the laying little buzz, laying in bed, laying in yeah. bed. Going you don't like, even get buzz anymore, though. Oh yeah, yeah, you do from smoking. Yeah, you just gotta do it different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't smoke. I don't smoke, and I don't chew tobacco anymore. But yeah. I did. But that feeling of knowing there was a treat coming up, that going like ooh, like getting up, waking up, and going, uh -huh. well, I could have a cigarette and a coffee and. 
Oh. Go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I got. That, I got. That, I got that. I got that to look forward yeah. to. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm being dead serious. Yeah. It, it's it. It for me. I and I'm sure mm. there's a therapist that's going. Oh, this is what's wrong with you. But like, okay, I have a really busy day today. But I know. I see my mouth just watered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my mouth just watered. I got up at I got up at six in the morning this morning to, yeah. so that I could work out, so that I could come here and be ready and fresh. So I drank mm-hmm. last night. We went to Vitelli's. Oh really? Vitello's. Yeah. Vitello's. The night Robert Blake died. Oh, Isn't that crazy? Wow. Oh, that's... So I, I I drank wine. I watched a documentary on the Malaysian airline, and <laughs> and I and I passed out. <laughs> yeah. And I woke up at six, not not feeling great. Yeah. But I knew mm-hmm. that if I got all my stuff done today, I have a treat at the end of the night. Ooh. At six o'clock, uh, theoretically at four, because I'm seeing mm. Whitney Cummings at four. Yeah, I can say to Whitney, "Would you like to open a bottle of wine? Maybe have a kombucha, hard kombucha." Ooh. And then when I get that treat, all of a sudden, everything, all the worries, all the stress goes away. And it's and just I, tobacco. And well, if, no, and right now it's alcohol for me. Oh, if, oh, I, oh. if I knew that I had a cigarette when I got out of Ooh. bed, when I could, I'd like a cigarette in bed. I would. That would be the <laughs> funnest. Thing. I see people. I, my, it's, I saw the sexiest yeah. thing. It's so seventy. A sixty-five-year-old woman, one hundred and eighty pounds, mm-hmm. smoking a cigarette in Calgary outside, freezing. And I went, I want to be her so bad. <laughs> I want to be her so bad because it's just you got to. It's like, uh, like, uh, how do you say this thing? Uh, uh, Joeing. Joeing. Like, Joeing. Yeah. Okay. Tugging. Yeah, masturbating. You, you ever been? Ma- okay, masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been uh, on the road or on the road for a comic, and then you get in the elevator? You just did radio, and you get in the elevator, and you go, "Oh wait, I haven't masturbated today. <laughs> <laughs> I have a treat coming my way." Yeah. And now the saddest <laughs> thing, the, but the saddest thing in the world is when you go, "Oh, I already did masturbate. Oh. <laughs> I have no treats coming my way." Uh, I was yeah. in the elevator with a lady, really mm. attractive older lady, by probably yeah. 59, 60 years old. And I was on the road, and I got in the elevator, and she walked in, and she was very attractive. I yeah. like an older woman. And I thought to myself, whew, I haven't masturbated today. <laughs> and, then, and then she saw me go, like, because when yeah. I, when I, my daughters, my daughters have, have identified it. I talk about this in the special, but I, whenever I get excited for things, I have always represented my excitement. Yeah. It used to be skipper fingers, right? Mm-hmm. I go like this, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my daughter goes, skipper yeah. fingers. This one, we talk about it, I talk about it in the special. They had a nickname for me. They were calling me behind my back. And it and and I saw it. I, it was on the name of the chat thread with a bunch of pictures of me, and it said "Baby Walrus." Baby and Walrus. And when I get excited, Walrus. I look like a. I go ha. <laughs> <laughs> and so the lady saw me do Baby Walrus when I was like ha, and she goes, "Whoa, what are you thinking about?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't think you want to know, lady." <laughs> but yeah, I, I the idea of a treat. I mean, I was gonna write. I was gonna write a self help book. I was gonna write a self help book and. For the first chapter is give yourself a nickname. That's mm-hmm. I mean, well, okay. here's my pitch. Okay, uh, right. if you're a book dealer, a book th- person, th- publisher, yeah. maybe the, I should I shouldn't be the guy writing a book. <laughs> you can't think of the word. Uh, yeah, <laughs> here's my pitch. Right, okay, yeah, got it. Everyone gets a self help book by the greats, the greats, Jocko Wilnick, uh, uh, David Goggins, Cam mm-hmm. Haynes. They all got great self help books. No one has what they have. No one's mm-hmm. gonna have what they have. Yeah. You're not gonna run out and run 50 miles tomorrow every single day for the rest of your life and do a thousand pull-ups. Mm-hmm. But you can look at me and go, "He's kind of a loser. He's overweight. <laughs> How did he get there? Yeah. What were his tricks?" Right. Now, I'm not. Not all of us can be Tony Robbins. <laughs> yeah. But you can all be me, yeah. just a little bit better. And and, and not, chapter I number one, I do want to be you. Yeah. yeah. Chapter number one, give yourself a nickname. In many ways. Yeah. The second you give yourself a nickname, you have an alter ego. And if yeah. you can match the real you to the alter ego and blur the two, you become a better version of yourself. That's yeah. chapter number yeah. one, by the way. That's just chapter Dude, number you're one. Already killing it. We're doing two chapters on <laughs> yeah. treats. I'll tell you that right now. I'm telling you, man, like watching you, hearing you, knowing you, it's like I, I, you know, I, I do get excited about certain things, but the reason I've never tried any real drugs other than mm-hmm. like weeds, because I know I'd love it. Oh, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I know, absolutely. like I know, here's the thing. It, I would try Coke. It would rule. Mm-hmm. And I'd have a problem, and yeah, I'd, lose so yeah. I'd lose everything. Lose I'd lose everything. I'd lose weight. my yeah. wife, my kids, my house, <laughs> oh. my job. I'd spend all my money on blow, and then because that, that's, that's the oh, thing. Oh, I went you've to that, never done cocaine? No, I went oh, to. Oh, I've, oh. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Went hold on. One, We're talking treats. I went to yeah. one bowling party, right? <laughs> that the radio station had one year Christmas party. It was at a bowling alley. I had so much fun. I joined a league. Okay, I bought the balls. I bought shoes. I bought I, the whole I thought thing. You were about to say and I everyone joined the league. Was bowling on cocaine, which, no, 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 which is one of the funnest things to do in the world. That and darts. I'm saying that and darts. Yeah, but this is the that's the whole reason. I look at that. I go. I joined a league with a bunch of old men. You know, after one Christmas party at a bowling alley, like I, cocaine would kill me. This is how I'm, good cocaine is. <laughs> if 
the at times the person selling it to you will warn you you shouldn't do this. All right. oh, Imagine if wow. you're going to buy a car and the guy goes, "Don't buy this yeah. car." <laughs> You go, yeah. okay, thanks, man. Right? Yeah. The first time I ever did cocaine, the person I bought it from said, hey, man, I wouldn't do this for you. And I said, why? And he goes, it's really good. I go, that, that's why I want to do it. Yeah. And, and we were in New Orleans, and we were in college, and, and there was no ecstasy. And so I was like, I'll just try a little bit. And I did. It's crazy. You look at the mirror. Uh, and you see your reflection with the yeah. line of cocaine, <laughs> like residue, up. yeah. And you, and all you, you it's a real self aware moment. You're like, oh wow. You're like, oh my god, I'm about to do cocaine. Like, I'm a loser. <laughs> I'm a. This is what losers do. Yeah. And then you hit it, and you're like, I'm a winner. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a winner. I can do anything. Awesome. I literally, my first thought was, we went outside. My, I did one nose, one nostril, <laughs> and it was literally crystallized Ugh. beauty on one side of my face, and the other si- side was doing nothing. I went, I got to do the other nostril. I go outside. <laughs> we're in New Orleans. We're all sitting around. We're having great. The sun's setting, and the first thought I had was, I. Pretty sure I could rip that tree out of the ground, <laughs> but but I am so smart that I won't. Because if I do, they'll know I'm on cocaine. Yeah. I've done it a handful of times, and, and 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 for me, and I'll tell you very candidly, as much as I celebrate it, the next day is the worst day of your life. Really, the next day is oh. the all like those hangover. beauty yeah. thoughts. Those beauty thoughts are all borrowed from tomorrow. And, and then when you show up in tomorrow, you're like, oh, I need Chinese food. I need to call my mom and tell her I made a mistake last night. Yeah. This is a bad you, idea. You hate yourself. Very my heart's to, racing. Yeah. You're laying what? in bed. You're like, I'm going to die because I wanted to be cool. Like, yeah. but man, I'll yeah. tell you. So what, mm. what, have, what have you done that you're like, you know what, man? Nope. Never again. Uh, ooh. Acid. Acid. Oh, Acid's the wow. dumbest thing in the world. I mean, what's well, not? Whatever. If you have a brain for acid, I'm. I have the. I, and there's a lot of people listening that know exactly <laughs> what I'm about to say. I have the. I have the brain for acid where I go, "Das, this is fun," and then I go, "I only have eight more hours of this." <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. like, oh, I want. Wow. I wish I could turn this off. Yeah. You're <laughs> laying in your bed, looking in a mirror, looking into your reflection of your eye, into your eye, Whoa. into your eye, all the way back, and you're like, "Are these my feet? <laughs> <laughs> these are, did someone steal my feet?" Uh, you put on my shoes, yeah. man. Uh, the machine. Burt Kreischer is here. His uh, fifth stand-up special is called Razzle Dazzle. It is on Netflix starting tomorrow. Watch it. Also, uh, your movie. I want to talk about your movie. Yeah. Um, because you've been talking about this for a while, and then he actually went and filmed it in Siberia. Yeah. And then he told us about Serbia, how Serbia, 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 yeah. Ser- not Siberia, <laughs> Serbia. Yeah. Not no, Siberia. no, no. That's what they Siberia. released. They released the press release that I yeah. filmed in Siberia. <laughs> Serbia. It was Serbia. Um, yeah, because you you were here like right before you left to go film that. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you had told us that like Mark Hamill was going to play your father. It's like the, your whole life. Like, do you ever like, have those moments where you're sitting there going like, dude, my life is pretty insane yeah yeah i definitely like luke I, skywalker's I playing your dad in a movie <laughs> that's yeah. weird. it's about you it's not even like you're playing like uh some character you know like you're just a character in a movie some yeah. fictional thing like it's it's the whole machine story i know i is, i i, like, I literally crazy no one at my funeral should be sad they should mm-hmm. be like that was amazing. Yeah, that dude that lived was, a life. That guy yeah. hit a dude perfect shot in life <laughs> yeah. like, uh, I, I just i mean I, I I, i'm not that attractive yeah. i'm not that smart uh, I don't have great teeth. I'm overweight, and I and I've traveled the world four times over. I've I've worked and yeah. I'm, I'm doing an arena tour. Yeah. I just announced fully loaded. I have the best comics mm-hmm. in the yeah. world working with me on a big tour. I have a movie coming out. My special. I I mean I, I have a big podcast with my best friend. Yeah, where I hang out with my best friend and we make good money. Just yeah, just making each other laugh. I have a. My, I mean I, I I'm I'm in love with my wife. I mean what that that's not supposed yeah. to happen. You know that's I mean at this level of success yeah. I should be cheating. Yeah. <laughs> with like really odd chicks yeah. and for some reason man uh-huh. that old bag of bones has her number. I got her. It's got my yeah. number. Yeah. And so I don't. Yeah. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm the I am the luckiest guy in the world. I'm the absolute luckiest guy in the world. And I, and I feel like uh, I mean I don't know what to say. I yeah. I hope uh, I I try to do good things for other people's because I feel like you know I'm not I'm not like a grandstander about it but i try to do good things for other people and but man when i die do you think other yeah. celebrities feel the same as you that they're that grateful or are they that jaded do you think well i, I, well, I think there is a jadedness that happens to it i i've come from this from a different place i didn't get successful until i was 44 like successful where i am today yeah that didn't start until now what does 44. that mean when you say mm-hmm. successful like is that like a certain amount of money is that like um yeah, like a, like, like a million dollars certain probably. size venues I, mean, or... I didn't make a mm-hmm. i don't probably didn't make a million dollars until i was Forty four. Yeah. Which which a million dollars was like the the stamp for me of what, right. what Rich was. Um but I now it's I, like you don't wake up for a million dollars, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. 
Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I wake up for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be shocked what I do for a million dollars. Yeah. Put your pants down. I'll show you. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, but no, but I, I didn't get I, – I made money. I worked. Yeah. But I, and then at 44, everything got taken away from me very instantly. I got fired from Travel Channel and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then got taken off a Funny or Die tour. Uh, had canceled a bunch of dates. Didn't sell any tickets for New Year's Eve. And then when the machine story went viral, things turned around. And I feel like I have, I, I can only call it survivor's remorse, where you, where I, I got the opportunity to live for a brief period of time in my career, most of my career, as a failure. And so when you get success, you're hyper aware yeah. of when people didn't want you to, didn't want, yeah. like they look over your shoulder. Yeah. Then yep. when, when like, I mean, uh-huh. I, I would do interviews. I did one recently the other day, and uh, and it was a guy who didn't know who I was. And I, haven't, I haven't done that in a while, and it was almost refreshing. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, he goes, wow. so, uh, so when, when, if people are coming out to the show this weekend mm-hmm. and they don't know what to expect, what, what do they expect? And I go, it's an arena. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, right. like, no, one's, no one's stumbling into an arena. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going like, hey, what do you think's going on right. at the Emily Center tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is that a $150 ticket? Sure, yeah. two of them. Uh-huh. Let's get some popcorn and merch. What Give is this? Yeah. What is this? Yeah, they know. And so, but, but, yeah. Uh, but I lived in that world where they didn't know who you were, mm-hmm. so you had to be humble and you had to sell yourself. And, and go, uh, when I was 26 year, 22 years old, I got my mother, you know, and I tell the story. And so, and so I think I'm very lucky in that sense. Like I look at Mark yeah. Wahlberg, and he seems like a guy who really appreciates where he is, he works hard and busts his ass. Let's talk about the movie though, because like, how did that even come about? It's a great story, you know. Like, because I mean, the next machine door. story. Next door. Next door. At legendary. This is oh, right. Yeah, okay. legendary is right next door. I didn't know that. So I had three movie pitches. I was done pitching the machine. I was done with it. I was done. Mm-hmm. I was like, I tried to pitch it for years. No one ever wanted to do anything with it. Okay. Done. So I had three pitches. They're really great pitches. <laughs> they were really, they were really good pitches. Yeah. <laughs> really good pitches. And so I take him into legendary. This guy Kale. And I pitch him all three. And he goes, okay, I'll make one. Which one? Which one do you want to make? I'll make one. I just want to make a movie with you. I think it'll be fun. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, I'm making one of your movies. Tell me which movie you're making. Uh-huh. And I said, well, hold on. If you're going to give me, like, if you're going to say I can make a movie, I'm, I, I, I got to be honest with you, I got to make the machine. And he goes, okay, why, why aren't you making it? And I said, because well, I'm afraid it'll do well, and the Russian mafia will see it, and they'll kidnap me. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he goes, sold. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go what? And he goes, the "That's your movie. Yeah. That's your yeah. movie. Yeah. That's done." And he goes, "It's The Hangover meets Godfather Two. I yeah. love this. We got flashbacks uh-huh. to Young Bird. We tell the story in flashbacks. We get." And I remember he goes, "We'll get, we'll, we'll get flashbacks, and then you and we'll get your dad. You and your dad will get kidnapped." And, and I, I know originally it was Tom. Me and Tom get kidnapped, mm-hmm. and then the Tom character just wasn't believable. Like it just didn't make sense. Yeah, because you needed someone. Who uh, it, it, you needed a character, and then you, when we found Mark Hamill, we're like, "That's the guy." <laughs> yeah. Change it into his dad. Yeah. So then, and so that was the the whole making of it. And then we got out there, and it was the most collaborative, fun. Like the very first day of shooting, I'm laying in bed and I hear Rogan say, uh, "Movies don't go hard enough these days. You got to shock us. Make an old school R movie." Yeah. So, and I sat up in bed and I go, "My first scene isn't Done. hard enough. It's yeah. dull." So I rewrote it. I came in the next morning. I said I rewrote the first scene, and they were like, "Ah, uh, okay." Uh. And I said, "I said all, all I'm saying is it's just a couple lines." Yeah, I wrote rewrote them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the theme is still there, but I think can we just shoot these alternatives? Mm-hmm. And Peter Tensio was like, "I like this scene better. Let's shoot this." And then we got done, and it, by the secret time, secret time, mm-hmm. we get done. And now I'm so used to paying for everything myself, like anything I shoot, right? Yeah. That I I I I have a I, I eat. The bones and boil the hoofs. Yeah, I do you all, use all parts. Yeah. Yeah. So I go, hold on. We're tearing down this set right now. Whenever using it again, and he goes, uh-huh. yeah. I go, hold on. We have it lit. We have cameras in here. Let's maybe just shoot other stuff. Uh, yeah. Let's shoot one more scene. Maybe yeah. this will be a good tag to the end of the movie. Yeah. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, if I'm here, it might be cool that after all that stuff, I come back here. Let's shoot a tag to the end in here. And he was like, okay. And so mm-hmm. then we shoot the tag, and it's in the movie. Wow. It's how the movie ends. Nice. Wow. It's in, and so, so that was my whole plan. I loved. I never wanted to make a movie mm-hmm. in my entire life. I loved making this movie more than anything I've ever done. It was the funnest, funnest. Yeah. The first day, I say to Kale, we go to dinner, and he goes, and Kale's the one of my the best. Kale, Mary, you, everyone over there is amazing. Herb and uh, I said to Kale, I'm gonna. Um, I think I'm gonna not drink tonight. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's wrong? He goes, hold yeah. on. I didn't. We didn't pay for Skinny Bert. I go, well, yeah. I'm not gonna lose weight. But he goes, no, 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 no. Let me explain something to you. He goes, we can't predict if this movie today is gonna be good or if it's gonna be bad. What I can tell you though is, if you have a great time making this movie, it'll show up on screen. Yeah. The movies that people hate making, you can see that they hated making it. Yeah. But if you have fun and really 
enjoy this process. You may never get to do this again. Yeah. So really enjoy it. And I was like, bottle of wine, let's start yeah, with a martini. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we partied. That's a roll on radio, too. They always say that. Like, if you're having fun, like, in the studio and yeah. everybody's having yeah. a good time, whatever, it'll translate on the air. to the, 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 the audience will be able to feel that. For sure. Uh-huh. Dude, there's a clip of me and my buddy just laughing at me drinking Kool-Aid. Like, it's, yeah. not, it's not a think piece. It's not. It's yeah. him going, literally the only words he said, you're drinking Kool-Aid. Yeah. You're drinking Kool-Aid. Whenever I'm in a bad mood, by the way, that clip from Two Bears, One Cave is with you and Tom. He's like, are you drinking Kool-Aid in that bottle? That gets me every time. I've seen it a billion times. Oh, my God. And that, that'll immediately turn my mood around. That is like a go-to. I have a link to it on my phone. It's so, like, that kills me. And you're right. It's so simple. It's so simple. But so if you're, simple. It, the truth is, if you're having fun. So I had yeah. fun. Watch the Red Band trailer for The Machine. That's uh, Burt's movie. It's going to be in theaters May 26. Memorial also, Day weekend. Uh, mm-hmm. Check out his fifth stand-up special, Razzle Dazzle. That's on Netflix starting tomorrow. At Burt Kreischer on all social media platforms. Burt, Burt, Burt dot com, where you can get uh, tickets and all the information about all the shows that uh, he's got going on. I talked about the uh, the tour, the Fully Loaded Festival. FullyLoadedFestival.com is on one date. going on. Dude, that'd be really? awesome. Really? I'm trying, I'm, I mean, the well, lineup's already yeah. good. The show's pretty busy, but Between, like, Jim I, have a, Norton, I have a venue Tiffany that seats 75,000. I think Joe could help me. David yeah. Tell. <laughs> Joe, Joe's good for 25. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and of course, uh, it's. I tell you, this. I'm, I'm not a huge podcast guy, but I love Two Bears, One Cave. Thank you. You yeah. and Tom together. So good. That would, like, I, I look at that and I go, that is a, that's goals. Like, mm-hmm. friendship goals. Oh, Thank like, you. seriously, like, friendship it's, goals. If you told me yeah. that I would be getting paid a large sum of money to fly to Vegas on St. Patrick's Day to meet up with my best friend yeah. and get drunk, right? Or I'd be like, hold on. Once again. <laughs> Am I in the CIA? Yeah. No one's crying at your funeral, man. No one's crying at my funeral. Yeah. I just wish I would oh. be there. I might fake my, fake my death one time. <laughs> <laughs> just to see. Just I just want to see. Dude, yeah. Bird, thank you so much for coming man, in. I love you, brother. Yeah. Thank Lo- you. Dude, love having you in. And uh, you, you, he is, like I tell you, this this guy right here, it, yeah. you are a guy that, you know, I, I would love to be. You know, in oh so many ways. God. I really that's would. The be- that's the best. <laughs> that is the actual if, if, best compliment I've ever gotten yeah. in my life. Like if I can a, quantify that as the best compliment I'm serious. I've ever gotten in I mean, my life. And I mean that. That's like mm-hmm. genuine. I, I think uh, between you, like a combination like you and Ricky Gervais. Let's go to a Kings game this, this, this Let's season. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go hang out. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. I'm down. Well, we can even invite Joe Coy. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, maybe. We'll wear guess. sweatshirts. Bert, love yes. you, man. Thank you. I love you, brother. Good luck with the special. Good luck with the movie. And we'll see you soon. Thank you, brother. The Woody Show will be right back.